Hey YouTube, M6CB, back again with another video. Uh, today I want to do a review on the Radiolity GA510. Uh, now Radiolity was very kind to send me this radio for review, um, so we'll have a, an unboxing of it, see what you get in the box. Uh, we'll also uh, show you some of the menus and some close-ups of it. Uh, there'll probably be some more videos to come, I'm going to uh, do some more tests with it. Uh, I've managed to get into a couple of uh, local repeaters, no problem at all, so uh, on first impressions of it anyway, I've only had it about a week or so, uh, it's really, really good. Um, so yeah, hope you've had a really good uh, Christmas and New Year. Um, sorry I've not done a video for about six weeks now, obviously being Christmas and busy and all that sort of stuff, uh, busy with work and all that kind of thing, so I've been quite tied up. Uh, but I've got some really good videos coming this year. I've got really heavily into CB radio at the moment. Uh, so you might be able to see me behind me, the Alinco DR135. I'm going to do a review on that. Um, I've also got a Lewiton Delta 318 in the car. Uh, I got a, a Serial Performer 5000 mag uh, antenna for the car. Uh, I also built my own uh, quarter wave. Uh, ground plane antenna for uh, 11 meters. It seems to work uh, quite well. Although uh, I am getting a um, a new antenna that's just come to the market called a hang tenor. So a big shout out to Paul from Hang Tenor. I'll leave his details in the uh, description. Uh, check that out. Uh, they're basically 10 and 11 meter antennas uh, based on the Serial Game Master. So as you know, uh, or may or may not know, the Serial Game Master is 130 pounds. Um, and he does the antennas um, pre-tuned and everything for about £40. Uh, so absolutely fantastic. The, the idea is you kind of just hang them on a tree or if you've got a, you know, a, a 10 metre DX commander pole like I have in my case, you can just hook it on the top of that uh, and away you go portable and it'll just tidy up nice. You know, So it's a fantastic antenna. So that'll be coming uh, in the next couple of days. So I'll be doing a review on that next. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned for that one. So big shout out to Paul from Hang Tenor. As I say, I'll leave his dis uh, stuff in the uh, description. Uh, so go and check him out. Uh, and don't, don't forget to tell him I sent you. So without further ado, let's have a look at the Radiolity GA510. So this is the Radiolity GA510. It's a 10 watt dual band tri-power analog radio that comes with two batteries. Uh, currently you can buy this on the Radiolity website for £49.91. I'll leave a link in the description. So a couple of the features is up to 8 miles range, uh, manual programming, although there is a programming cable in here, uh, 96 hour battery life, uh, dual band, dual watch and dual display, and you get a technical and customer service support, which are very good, actually I can definitely vouch for that, and an 18 month warranty. So really, really good. So let's have a quick unboxing of it, see what you get. In the box we get the radio, we get a female antenna, we get the manual, we get the programming cable, the spare battery, the belt clip, the lanyard, the I got the it's an American style plug, but they did send me the adapter for it, uh, the charging base, and the earpiece, and the warranty card, which is an 18 month warranty with a 60 day no return. No reason return, sorry. So if there's any problems at all or you just don't want it, you know, you've got 60 days there. But I've always found Radiolity to do some really, really good stuff. So I don't think you'll have a problem with that. So I'll just put this stuff away. So let's have a quick look. As I say, this is the, the radio and the antenna. Uh, and then obviously the, the charger base. Now, from what I understand, you can, if you have a GD77 as well, which is very similar to this, but does the DMR, you can use the same charging base. Um, and then you get 2200 milliamp hour battery, so you've got two of those, so that's really good. So if you go, uh, you know, doing SOTA or you're out and about portable, you can just stick the extra battery in your, in your backpack uh, and away you go. So that's really, really good. Um, the user manual is very, very detailed. I mean, it's it's got a multiple uh, languages, uh, but the English part of it is, is well into... Uh, you know, it's a fair good size of the book, uh, and it's really well written. I mean, I've not really found that I needed to refer to it. It's a very simple to use radio, but, uh, you know, some of these Chinese manufacturers, the manual, uh, you know, leaves a lot to be desired, but this is uh, absolutely brilliant. So really, really impressed with that manual. Uh, nice belt clip. As I say, you can add that as an option. Uh, and you've got the earpiece and the, the adapter and obviously the programming cable so it's a standard sort of Bofang uh, charge, uh, programming cable so uh, really good um, so that's nice as well 
So a quick look around the radio. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and bring it closer and hopefully my uh, camera will be focusing okay. Uh, but as you can see, I'll uh, see if I can remove this, this protective screen protector just so it looks a bit nicer. There we go. Take that off. So yeah, really, really nice. It's very, very similar to the GD77. So let me rub my fingerprint off it. Yeah, very similar to the GD77. Just a slightly different keypad. Uh, but really robust. It's really got a nice feel to it. Uh, really, really impressed. You've got a nice uh, rubber uh, PTT button and the rubber up and down buttons. As I say, you get the 2200 milliamp hour battery at the back. Uh, the antenna socket on the top. The SOS type button. I'm assuming you can program that in the programming software. Uh, and I think you could also use Chirp as well. Uh, you've got the red TX light and the green when you receive. Uh, volume on and off and uh, yeah sorry on and off switch and volume switch uh, the keypad nice rubber buttons on there as well so yeah really really impressive and you can just slide the batteries off like that so as I say you get two batteries I'll come a bit closer to the camera so two 2200 milliamp hour batteries so yeah really really impressive so let me just put it on and then we'll turn it on and put the antenna on So yeah, that's the uh, the radio. So as you can see, really, really nice. I'm very impressed with it. Uh, the menus are very straightforward, uh, sort of self-explanatory. I don't know if it's coming through on the camera with the with the light behind me, uh, but you've got a basically you've got 16, no, 37 menus. So you've got things like I'll read them out in case it's it's not coming through on the camera because of the backlight. Uh, but you've got like reset language, uh, power on message, so it'll tell you your voltage when you power it on. Uh, receive tone, uh, program, uh, RPTRL, uh, RPSTE. So it's very similar to the Bofang style of menus. If you're familiar with the UV5R and that kind of thing, it's very, very similar uh, to that. So we've got um, the tail, I'm guessing that's sort of like a Roger beat. Uh, we've got the scan DCS, scan T CTCSS, so obviously got uh, CTCSS and DCS on this radio. Um, we've got alarm mode, so it's got an alarm on there. Um, delete, so you got the, the, you obviously can store your channels in there. Uh, put your offsets in for your repeaters. Uh, direction, you've got an auto key lock on this radio as well. Busy lockout, uh, so obviously if you're getting interference on a channel, you can lock it out. Um, you can also have, because this is dual watch, so you've got two frequencies on top and bottom. You can have it displaying the frequency, or if you program the radio, you can have it say the name. You know, like say for instance, GB3FC repeater, you could have the name of it rather than the frequency. Um, so that's really nice. PTTID, uh, scan mode, uh, it's usual time, delay. You know, if it receives a signal, it'll wait a couple of seconds and then carry on. Um, and then you've got S code, uh, DTMF, ST. Uh, voice, so that's the voice. You know, you can have it saying that when you're changing the menus, it'll it'll talk to you. Um, uh, see, it's, sorry, get my words out. Uh, CTCSS transmit, uh, DCS transmit. Same again with the receive, um, and then you've got the um, timeout timer on this as well. Um, beep prompt, so when you're pressing the buttons, it'll beep. Uh, dual standby on or off backlight time 10 seconds i've got it on currently but you can you can change that uh, bandwidth obviously i've got it on narrow uh, vox level so this has got vox on this radio so very impressive power save mode so that's that could be quite handy uh, extend your power and as i said earlier to transmit power you've got three power levels low medium and high so it's one watt five watts and 10 watts on this radio so really good and you can change the step size 12.5 is currently on uh, you can adjust the squelch in the menu as well and then you can reset it uh, now I did program a couple of the uh, repeaters and I did manage to get in them uh, which is very comparable to the other radios I've got so it's, it's it, you know the audio reports I got uh, were very good on this radio so I'm, I'm very very impressed uh, I've reset it now so you could just basically see as you would get it out you know out of the box uh, but really really impressed uh, so yeah, big shout out to Radiolity for sending me this radio. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description where you can buy it. And um, I'll do some more videos when I'm out and about in the car and, and do some sort of audio tests in, in a future video. So yeah, thank you very much. So thank you very much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, that was my review, sort of first impressions and unboxing of the Radiolity GA510. Uh, really, really good radio. I'm really impressed with it. 
Um, I've got into a good couple of local repeaters, uh, people give me good audio reports, um, fantastic, no sort of frills uh, radio and for £50 and having a spare battery, if you do SOTA or any of those sorts of things, um, then that's an absolutely fantastic radio. A big shout out to my uh, friend Gaz, um, he's always watching my videos so big shout out to you guys for watching. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you like it or a thumbs down if you don't and if you haven't already please consider uh, subscribing, it really means a lot to me and it also gives me a lot of confidence to make future videos. I've been M6EB, you've been very kind to watch, 73.